Hello everyone. Oh my god, I'm so happy with my drums. <laughs> Here I am again. I needed to come because I was literally going crazy inside my house. So my video for today basically was is well <laughs> I am so happy now. I am so happy because I finally today I said fuck you to my ex. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm like, leave me alone. <laughs> Get a life. God, he likes to make me feel like shit. In my Spanish video, I'm all crying because he likes to make me feel like shit. And I'm like, I let you go already. I'm at peace with you. Dude, you have... I have no opinion on how many females he got, but I'm just, I'm in charge of me. So worry about me, Jessica, because <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Basically, I'm talking about how me being so superficial and so like, lying to myself and being so fake to myself and so hypocritical to myself like all my insecurities inside my mind kind of like brought me to a, the next relationship after being with a narcissist for 12 years that manipulated me like i know that game honestly like i know how somebody looks when they're trying to manipulate you that make you feel guilty once you have a fucking opinion and shit like for real no let's not be petty i am petty though sometimes but i'm learning not to because i'm learning not to criticize people and um then after that i found a guy that was like a trainer and shit and i was always 335 pounds so it's like i lost the weight right now i'm 220 i don't know how the fuck i look you know i still have a few blood bundles in the back that i still need to fix but that's me you know god made me like that because i never had a perfect body never have I ever ever had a perfect body if anything i've always been free i don't give a fuck what people think about me my mentality is like if you don't pay my bills i don't care what you think so that should be your mentality if people don't pay your bills just do you just whatever makes you happy and um Anyways, after that, I got with this guy, and he was a trainer, and all my life, I used to have, like, people compliment me and tell me, oh, you have such a pretty body. No, such a pretty face, but your body is, like, horrible, so I used to weigh 335 pounds. I was just like, oh, wow, thank you. You know, like, people make you feel like shit, honestly, and I was feeling kind of like shit, so when I got with this guy, I was going through a separation, 12 years with a narcissist, domestic violence, all this drama, you know, abandonment issues, I don't even know my worth, if I was pretty or not, and this guy came out of the blue being a trainer and shit, we started being friends, and we started talking, he was fucking pretty cool and shit. Little did I know that, you know, um, I became a lot superficial like he was, I started putting fake nails, I wanted to look good for him, and he would tell me, oh, once you lose weight, you're gonna see you're gonna a lot of guys and i was just like i want to like what the fuck but anyways you know the more that i got to know him i've always been a very blunt outspoken kind of person and i kind of like i was kind of dumb because i wanted to always prove to him that i was you know worth it that i was a good person he even compared me to proverb i don't know if it's proverb 31 or 32 which is the perfect wife in the bible he said you are the perfect wife he said you have everything you're a good mom you're this you're that i was just like okay so why don't you want to be with me little did i know that you know i used to talk to him every single morning he used to call me every single day at six in the morning he used to take my kids to school he used to carry the you know the groceries for me we used to cuddle he was so sweet omg i had never had a guy that was like that to me because my ex no we don't even talk it was just more like a fuck and we lived together and he talked a lot of shit to me and made me feel like a dumbass you know that was a narcissist and shit and if anything he made me feel guilty he's never been nice to me if anything it was more like a sexual thing and because i kind of had the mentality that i'm gonna stay there because you're the father of my kids but this guy was sweet he used to carry the groceries he used to tell me why don't you let me help you and i was like nope I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I've always been a very independent kind of person. Now I'm learning more like, okay, you're gonna be nice. I'm gonna let you be, you know, cause yeah, if you're gonna make me happy, okay. You know, I, I literally, my ex, I used to buy him stuff and I used to love buying him stuff. And I always been an over giver, the same thing with my kids. And I will recompensate it with a lot of superficial shit, which is honestly what I realized. Like, you don't need none of that shit to love somebody. When you love somebody, you just do it. Well, talking to this dude, eventually I asked him one day, I'm like, do you have any more females that you're talking to other than me? Because I'm very blunt. I'm very straight. And he said, yeah, I actually do. I have three other people. I was just like, the fuck? I don't talk to nobody else. I was honestly just with him. So that kind of gave me like a good lesson. I learned. I learned. <laughs> I learned that when I was being fake to myself, you know, people will be the same way to me. So after that, I met somebody else that this person made me feel like, wow, like, 
you're perfect <laughs> in my eyes he was and he told me that maybe the reason I was you know being used and cheaters because of the choices and kind of guys that I was going for he was very attractive he was a personal trainer you know and I learned my lesson with him I stopped being superficial I started being more honest and I stopped talking to guys, you know, after I talked to the guy that he told me that maybe I needed to be mindful, you know, what kind of people I was looking into. I thought he was perfect in my eyes. I really liked him a lot, but I was so chemically unbalanced. I didn't even know how to express my feelings for him. He's the first person I actually told him why he shouldn't be with me. Oh, all my insecurities have really kicked me in my butt. <laughs> He would give me so much attention and I loved it. And he's very cute though. I'm sure he might have a lot of girls after him. And that was, I don't know. Anyways, moving on. So me being fake to myself is what basically brought me to this making the video. When I started being honest to myself, when I started meditating, when I started doing my therapy, when I started taking care of my emotional and chemical balance inside, I found self-love and I found self-awareness. The only one that keeps us stopping us is always us. The one that needs to go inside and see how beautiful you are is you. You don't need validation from other people. It's nice. Yeah, it is. But it's the best validation you could give is the one you give to yourself when you go inside. And you're faithful to yourself. I don't believe in cheating. I have a very, like, Hispanic. Even talking to other people people through text messages or feeling some type of way about them for me means cheating i don't know how people see it i do know how to friend some people right away and respect myself i like when it comes to sex i do get horny but i've been like not even not even interested in anyone in that kind of way after the trainer i even kind of told the trainer like no dude i already like someone and i met this other person you know that was kind of like my twinsy and I wasn't even talking to him. I just said it so he would leave me alone. So, yeah, there's ways, you know. As females, there's ways to have guys get off your butt, you know. And just know your worth, you know. See how beautiful you are as a person. You don't need nobody else to, you know, bring you reassurance. I kind of think maybe I was in my own illusion with this person because this person lives, like, ooh, far from me. So, I'm just asking God now for understanding, patience, and I'm fixing myself. I said, let me fix myself. Let me fix all my issues. Let me see where I'm fucking up, you know, so I could fucking say, okay, I got this shit. I got it. You know, I know how to do this. So, learn to know your worth. Learn to know who you are. Learn to see your value. If you want to learn to meditate, if you want to, you know, talk about going to work out and losing weight and things like that, it kind of everything falls into place once you start taking care of yourself. You know, self-love includes working out, includes meditation, includes seeing how beautiful you are so um, i i lost a uh, hundred and something pounds so love light and peace if you want to find out hit me up okay